Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Uh, beautiful day out today. Uh, yesterday was a rainstorm, so I couldn't get out and do much. Um, today the sun's out. Uh, should be warm, but not excruciating hot. We are just getting out of the heat wave that we just had. I think most of the world had it at this point, so. Yeah, so I brought uh, four big boards out with me. They're gonna be basically my frame for my floor. And later on, I'll put the joists in. Uh, so basically I have two cut to 12 feet long, or they're just 12 feet, and then I have two cut three inches short, so it makes it 12 feet on every side. Uh, in total, it probably costs, I don't know, probably about $55 Canadian. The cinder blocks cost me about 30, so for those of you playing the home game, that's about $85 so far. Not too bad, but expenses are gonna ramp up quite a bit here shortly. Um, so I'm all set to go. This is going to be a long process. I, I'll film some, won't film other things. The basic goal here is to level all four corners or all, all four sides of the cabin. Um, it's going to take some work and it's going to take some replacement and so on and so forth. So basically uh, we'll just do one side at a time and then keep adjusting and keep leveling and keep adjusting, keep leveling until it's pretty much perfect because I don't want to screw up this portion of it because this kind of determines the rest of the build. So without further ado, I'll get, uh, get a moseying on and get this train on the road. The sun is high and it's gonna probably get me burnt. So I better start working now. I'll talk soon. Okay, so there were a few factors I needed to take into account before I started this process. First of all, as I said, I needed that two that were at 12 feet and then two that were a little shorter because when they get squared up or nailed in, That'll make it 12 feet on each side. So I got these two trimmed. A couple other things I didn't know about, but I've just recently learned. I had to check for a couple things. Obviously I had to check for how straight the board was. Um, I also had to check and see if the board was twisted. And I don't know, those of you out there that work with lumber, you know what I mean. The, the board just, just spirals almost. And the last thing I needed to check for was the bowing of it. Because you just want to kind of have a good idea of how much it's bowing. Um, obviously you don't want a lot, but a little is not bad. And the goal today is to make sure that I put the bowed part facing up. So it's basically going to be pushing against the grain, so to speak, when I put the floor on it. So it's going to push it down rather than having it kind of concave and it will basically sink further down is what we don't want. So just a couple things to keep in mind if you're doing that thing. I'm not a professional. I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm getting this all at, you know, secondhand information from people that know way more than I do. So this is my attempt at doing carpentry and there's probably carpenters out there right now going, what the fuck are you doing? Because basically I don't know what I'm doing. So but we're going to have fun doing it any which way. Okay, we're off to a really great start. This is 100% level already, which is exactly what I hoped for. So uh, I think I just got a little lucky. I don't think it's gonna go all the way through. So let's keep, uh, let's keep trucking. I'm gonna try and get something more lengthwise and see how that looks and go from there. Couldn't have got more lucky. Seriously, that's level two. It's off this guy a little bit, um, and that's okay. I expect that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna block these um, after I'm done the main four sides, just so that they have um, a little extra support because they are in the middle, but they'll be blocked this way as well, but also here. So don't need to fiddle with these so much today as much as the four to six points on this side. That's my longest end. It needs the most support. I'm gonna shut up now because I got four wheelers coming.
Okay, so this guy's a little bit out. So I'm going to assume it's this side. Um, it looks like one of the two sides has to come down. So I like where those two are. So what I'm going to try and do is bring this guy and that guy down a little bit and see if I can make up the difference. It's not far off, but it's far enough. So let's try that. Okay, so as you can see, I dug down a little bit. Uh, it just wasn't level enough, so I had to just really drop it down. It's so deceiving when you look at it from the ground level and then you kind of actually put it into practice. So uh, I'm, I'm a fraction off right now, so I'm gonna tweak this guy a little bit more and then I'm gonna have to redo that center block uh, as soon as I feel like I've got a good, a good base for this guy. All right, so that took a lot of work just to get that guy level over there. Hopefully I'm in a good spot. However, this guy and I have to re-dig out now, which is gonna be a bit of a chore. I don't wanna trust just to a piece of wood because it'll erode over time a lot quicker than one of these blocks. So I'm gonna to have to take it apart and uh, dig it back out. It's unfortunate, but it's the way it goes. Fortunately, I have enough gravel to uh, refill this all in and I've got more to top it off if I need to, but I don't think so. The blocks are pretty high, so this should uh, hopefully do the trick. Golden. We're three for three. Um, these are, uh, the actual blocks themselves are a fraction out, but I think at the end of the day, they're gonna have to settle a bit. So they're, all the, the support, surrounding supports are all level. They're, everything's level. That's level, that's level, that's level. I'm gonna level this guy. So when they're all level like that, I don't necessarily want this on the ground or directly on these cinder blocks. So for today, I think I'll get them uh, leveled and punched in and just kind of set where I want them on the blocks. I think I could just mark out the joists for today, come back later, either put in posts or uh, support posts as I need it based on the uh, what, what seems to be lacking. But for now everything seems really, really good. Uh, this one was a struggle. Sorry about the ATV, it's that time of year for these guys. Uh, I think this one's going to suck a little bit. It might, it might not. If this is level and that's level, it should be kosher. Uh, that middle one might be an issue, but we'll see. So here's the hoping. So as you can tell, it's too high already. So got a bunch of work ahead of me. So this guy here is going to be a problem. So I've got him nicely leveled over there, but he's dipped a little too low here, which is kind of what I was trying to adjust before. Uh, so what I'm going to have to do is maybe swing this guy through a little bit and swing him up onto these rocks and maybe I'll get lucky and it'll level both of them. I don't know, but we'll see. Pretty much bang on. Uh, I'm expecting it to shift though. So for now, I'm exactly where I want to be. 
I don't want to touch anything at this point in time. All I'm going to do now is tack in the four corners and get them just kind of like maybe a quarter of the way in to the other log and then, or we'll say joist for this matter. And uh, then we'll recheck it and check it at every point just in case anything shifts along the way. Uh, the frame might look kind of funny because the ground's on level, so this will look on level to you. But from my perspective, with this uh, two foot level, this is, this is giving me every indication that I'm exactly where I want to be. You might be wondering, uh, I might have mentioned earlier, wondering why I'm not doing a center one. Because the goal is, is that the joists themselves will go this way, and then I'm going to block uh, this, this center portion here, uh, putting it one of the blocks on that guy, and he has to be dropped as well. So when you block, you're going to go between the joists every 16 inches, and then you're going to alternate so you can get the spikes in. That'll give uh, it more rigidity uh, when you walk on it, because 2 by 6 by 12s are a bit bouncy when you get some weight on them. Now, I'm not going to have a lot of stuff in the cabin itself, but you don't want it bouncing around like a trampoline or anything like that. So blocking it at least once will uh, add rigidity. I might do it twice, haven't decided. I think once will be enough based on what I've seen so far. Uh, and then after that, you know, putting the floor on it will, will again give it more rigidity because of the way you uh, lay out those uh, basically floor panels in a lot of ways. So, looks really good. Uh, I'm not sure else how I can improve it at this point in time. I know that I need to tack it together to get a sense of what it's doing when I get them tacked in and make sure it's not warping too much or anything like that. So, uh, off we go on another little process. Okay, so we're still level on the four points, which is good. So I'm going to go ahead and finish pumping these guys in. And uh, yeah, I don't know what else to do. They're all 
exactly where they need to be. Um, they're not as centered on the corners as I'd like, but I think I'll adjust it a little bit, but there's nearly not much else I can do. I think if it goes out of level during the next phase or two, then I'll have to prop it up and re-level it, but for now, I like it. I'm going to let it sink in and let it uh, take some of the weight for a little bit, and then hopefully in next week or very, very soon, I'll put the joists in. That'll really give it the extra weight that's needed to keep it in place for the time being. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. That's it, it's a done deal now. No going back in a certain way. It could, but I'm not going to. I think we're doing okay. Done. All right, folks, that's it for today. Uh, I had a great time making this video. The sun's been beating down. I'm probably roasted Walsh right now. So I'm really happy with the progress. There's some minor adjustments that need to be made, but I think they'll become more evident as I continue to build. I think I'm really, really close. And I think that's the important thing. It's like, it's as pre precise as I can get it. I'm not, I'm not that meticulous. I am about certain things but everything that I've been told I've done and I think I've kind of found a nice middle ground. It seems to be working out fine. Uh, so I'm done for today, guys. So thanks for watching, really appreciate it. You take care and I'll talk to you soon. Holy son of a bitch, that's awesome.